Hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's get started. A long time ago, in a universe filled with warriors and gods, Goku, the legendary Super Saiyan, was more powerful than ever. He had mastered Ultra Instinct and became one of the most formidable warriors in the multiverse. However, this growing fame and power aroused the envy of the Gods of Destruction. The Gods of Destruction led by Beerus, the God of Destruction of Universe 7, began to plot against Goku. They feared that his power could threaten the balance of universes and plan to imprison him in the Time Chamber, a hidden dimension where time flowed differently. Beerus and the other Gods of Destruction chose Whis, Goku's trainer, as an accomplice in their betrayal. Whis reluctantly agreed to help them. Hoping that Goku could learn an important lesson in the hyperbolic time chamber and that it would benefit the multiverse as a whole. One day, during training, Goku and Whis traveled to the time chamber. There, they were ambushed by Beerus and the other Gods of Destruction. Goku, confused and betrayed, tried to resist, but the combination of divine forces was overwhelming. In a final act of desperation, Goku used his teleportation technique to send a message to his friends and family before being trapped in the hyperbolic time chamber. Inside the time chamber, time moved in a peculiar way. For Goku, it felt like an eternity. He trained tirelessly pushing his limits and honing his skills. Meanwhile, in the outside world, his friends and family started looking for him, knowing something was wrong. Gohan, Vegeta, Piccolo, and the other Z fighters gathered their strength and set out on a journey to rescue Goku from the hyperbolic time chamber. Meanwhile, Goku faced unimaginable challenges within the mysterious dimension, including powerful enemy residing there. Over time, Goku began to realize the true reason for his imprisonment in the hyperbolic time chamber. He learned to master his power even more and to control his anger and impulsiveness. His journey to self-discovery has transformed him into a wiser, more balanced warrior. As his friends and family approached the hyperbolic time chamber, Goku finally reached a level of power that would allow him to escape the dimension. However, he also understood that his release could have catastrophic consequences to the multiverse. As Goku was about to be rescued, he had to make a difficult decision. Stay in the hyperbolic time chamber to prevent his power from being used for destruction, or return to the real world and face the consequences of his release. The story culminates in an epic showdown between Goku and his friends, now aware of their motives for betrayal, and the gods of destruction. Goku, with his enhanced power and newfound wisdom, must protect the multiverse from any threat that may arrive. Dragon Ball The Awakening of the Time Chamber is a story of redemption, power, friendship, and balance between universes, showing how Goku became not only the strongest warrior, but also the guardian of the multiverse. Goku was finally on the verge of escaping the hyperbolic time chamber, his muscles tense and his aura pulsing with untamed energy. He stared blankly at the portal that would take him back to the weird world, but his mind was filled with fury and confusion. Beerus, the god of destruction, was standing beside the portal, watching Goku with a sardonic smile. He looked relaxed, as if this was all just a game to him. Beerus, why did you do that? Why did you imprison me here? <laughs> oh, Goku, you still don't get it. We did this for the good of the multiverse. Your power was becoming a threat, and we needed to make sure you didn't get out of hand. You had no right to make that decision for me! I could have helped keep the balance in other ways! Uh, but you're so impulsive, Goku. Sometimes it takes a drastic act to teach a lesson. That doesn't justify what you did. You betrayed our friendship, Beerus. Friendship is a funny thing, isn't it? 
Sometimes you have to sacrifice one to protect something bigger. Goku was furious, but he also knew he couldn't afford to let his anger get the best of him. He focused on his key, controlling it precisely, and took a step toward the portal. I won't stay here anymore. I will go back and face the consequences of my actions, whatever they may be. Are you willing to do that? Even after everything? I am a warrior, Beerus. And warriors take responsibility for their actions. They don't run away from their mistakes. In one swift movement, Goku hurled himself through the portal back to the weird world, leaving behind the time chamber that he shivered with the energy unleashing during his intensive training. Beerus looked at the closing portal and sighed deeply. <sighs> Maybe I have underestimated a kid. As Goku returned to the real world, he was determined to make amends with his friends and family while at the same time showing the gods of destruction that he could be a valuable ally in their quest to balance in the multiverse. The story was far from over, and the fate of the multiverse was once again in the hands of the legendary Saiyan. Back in the real world, back in the real world, Goku emerged from the time chamber amidst an explosion of energy that drew the attention of everyone present. His friends and family were waiting for him with concern, including Gohan, Vegeta, Piccolo, and even his faithful friend Curlin. <laughs> Father, are you okay? <clears throat> yeah, I'm fine. I need to explain everything for you. You must have a lot of questions. Goku shared the story of his imprisonment in the hyperbolic time chamber, the betrayal of the gods of destruction and his journey of self-discovery. He explained how his power was being considered a threat to the balance of the multiverse and how he was determined to prove he could use it for good. Hmm. So you're saying the gods of destruction think they can control you? Hmm. Exactly, Vegeta. But I won't allow them to use me as a weapon. I want to use my power to protect our world and all other universes. It's a noble decision, Goku. But you need to understand that the gods of destruction are extremely powerful beings. You cannot face them alone. I know that, Piccolo. That's why I need help from all of you. As the conversation continued, Beerus and the other gods of destruction watched from afar. Amazed at Goku's resolve, they realized that they underestimated the Saiyan, not just in terms of power, but determination as well. Maybe we got it wrong after all. Goku could be the key to the balance we've been looking for. The gods of destruction withdrew, leaving Goku and his friends with the daunting task of proving the Saiyan could be a reliable ally. Together they began to train, honing their skills and developing strategies to deal with any threat that arose. As time passed, Goku became not only stronger, but wiser. He knew his journey was far from over, and the multiverse was filled with challenges he had yet to face. But he was determined to protect the world and proved that a warrior could overcome even the greatest odds when he had friends and determination on his side. Thus, the story of Goku and his friends continued, with epic adventures, fierce battles, and the ongoing quest for balance in the multiverse. They were ready to take on any challenge that came their way, with Goku leading the way as a true protector of the universe. To be continued, so hey, what do you believe and what do you imagine about all of this? Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, and hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.